So as I was praying this morning, the office, uh, I was uh, struck by the uh, autobiography of St. Therese. And uh, her story of her journey with the Word of God, actually, and her uh, experiencing the chapter in Corinthians, especially when uh, it starts to list the different um, aspects of living the gospel. So apostles and priests and prophets and then different, different tongues and all of that. And she found herself in none of them, in none of them. Uh, and that really struck me, it really struck me because her soul was literally searching for her relationship with Jesus Christ. And she was wanting to have a special relationship uh, with him. And then in her prayer and meditation, of course, her autobiography says that she came upon the simple statement of love. And she realized in each action, even the simplest, if done in love, is a meeting with Jesus Christ. Wow. Wow. So I think at my desk sometimes when I'm signing a myriad of certificates or whatever, <laughs> if done in love, Mm -hmm. those go out in love. Mm -hmm. uh, so we just had the Lumen Christi Award, and it seemed like I was signing those for two months. <coughs> but, uh, we're about to have the anniversary award uh, for people. And uh, of course, I, Father Tad, I'll enjoy this one. The, the couples that are 25 years, I give them a bachelor's degree in forgiveness. <laughs> Those that are 50 years, I give them a master's degree in forgiveness. And those that are 60 or above, especially we had some couples at 75 years, oh, wow. and I gave them a doctorate in forgiveness. <laughs> and the little old ladies and the little old men who were celebrating 75 years went. <laughs> so St. Therese, um, <coughs> found herself really in the Word of God, and she found herself in those little actions of love. That every simple action she did in her life was meant to be a statement of her love for Jesus Christ. Now, personally, I can tell you, that causes a great examination of conscience at the end of a day. Because you ask yourself, okay, did I do this out of love? And did I meet Jesus Christ? Um, the other aspect of her relationship with Christ, I think, was captured in Matthew's Gospel. When Jesus invited the children to come to him, and then also said to us, unless we become like little children, we shall not enter the kingdom of heaven. So in, in a real way, the sim simple way of St. Therese showed us the way of Jesus. And the other part of it is she knew Jesus' love because she allowed Jesus to hold her in love. Because that's what he did in the Gospel. And he does the same for each of us. And what's going on in our own lives, especially when we touch our wounds, and as we are discussing the different things we're discussing, we're touching the wounds. And how then to minister to folks in that kind of a situation where they're truly, truly wounded. She herself was okay, physically wounded, and she herself really gave herself to Jesus so that her illness even became a simple way of love. Simple way of love. And I can only imagine the moment when she passed from this life to the next and that meeting when the little child, Therese, was invited to come and sit in the lap of the Savior of the world. That's the invitation for us, too. Let's pray for this grace when we uh, enter into this Eucharist, and especially as we receive the body and blood of our Savior, our brother, 
our Lord and he who loves us in his lap. <coughs> Amen. Amen. Amen.